Coherent Breathing, The Definitive Method, Theory and Practice, Stephen Elliott and D. Edmondson, R.N. Coherent Breathing, A Brief History. Coherent breathing is a formal method and system for cultivating health, well-being, and longevity through breathing and conscious regulation of certain psychophysiological functions. It was formally introduced in early 2005, approximately three years ago as of this writing. The effect of coherent breathing tends to be prompt and is easily observed via monitoring of numerous biometrics, including heart rate, blood pressure, galvanic skin response, EEG, and hand temperature, where the authors have observed favorable and often profound changes in many or all of these biometrics with several hundred clients. Coherent breathing has also been demonstrated in a laboratory environment to have an immediate and dramatic effect on muscle tension. However, we have yet to collect electromyographic data in a clinical setting. Over and above our personal experience, coherent breathing is presently employed by hundreds of healthcare professionals and thousands of individual practitioners in nine nations, where many are also observing or personally experiencing dramatic enhancements in health, well-being, and performance. When the new science of breath was written, we knew that the positive changes we were observing were an outcome of bringing the autonomic nervous system into a relative state of balance, but we did not know exactly how or why. Contemporary literature on the subject did not help. While many thousands of studies have been done wherein the heart rate variability cycle was observed and analyzed, there is surprisingly little written as to what the heart rate variability phenomenon actually is. And for this reason, the prevailing understanding is surprisingly new age in its orientation. However, we now have a much better understanding of the physiology of breathing and autonomic nervous system regulation. Oddly, much of this understanding has been mined out of the medical literature of the early 1900s, where there was an intense interest in the respiratory sinus arrhythmia phenomenon and its relationship to arterial pressure. This, and an advancement in instrumentation. We are now very confident that breathing affects autonomic nervous system status via its effect on blood flow and arterial pressure. The mechanism is the thoracic pump. When we inhale and exhale deeply, the thoracic cavity acts as a slow pump, moving blood from the extremities coincident inhalation and pushing blood to the extremities coincident exhalation. The autonomic nervous system, including vascular activity, synchronizes with thoracic action, resulting in the respiratory sinus arrhythmia phenomenon, or breathing-induced heart rate variability. When we breathe synchronously with consistent frequency and depth, this process yields the phenomenon known as the respiratory arterial pressure wave, which rises with exhalation and falls with inhalation. This RAP wave persists as long as the breathing is coherent. The autonomic nervous system responds to the presence and absence of the respiratory arterial pressure wave in a consistent manner. When it is present, the autonomic nervous system vacillates with every inhalation and exhalation, swinging towards sympathetic emphasis with inhalation and parasympathetic emphasis with exhalation, the net outcome being autonomic nervous system balance. This vacillation can be observed in the blood flow, arterial pressure, skin conductivity, brain waves, and muscle tension. When the RAP wave is absent, health, performance, and most probably longevity are negatively impacted. Why? We conjecture that the autonomic nervous system desires the presence of the respiratory arterial pressure wave because it represents homeostasis, the state we like to think of as neutral. In this neutral state, 
the diaphragm and intercostals are contributing strongly to the movement of blood, offloading the heart and vascular system of the burden of generating and sustaining blood pressure. Blood flow throughout the body increases. During each inhalation, air and blood meet across the extremely thin alveolar surface of the lung, maximizing gas exchange. During each exhalation, oxygenated blood rushes to the extremities. Muscles throughout the body relax. In this state, the body-mind already knows how to care for itself.